A 40-year-old man has become the first person in the UK to receive a total artificial heart, which allows him to go home. Matthew Green, who has a five-year-old son, had been critically ill, unable to walk even a few yards, after suffering from end-stage failure of both ventricles. I just feel fantastic, you know, I've felt so ill before, and now to be feeling so well and full of life just feels great. Well, I feel very lucky. The transplant team at Papworth Hospital, led by Mr Stephen Suey, performed the six-hour operation in June after two years of preparation and training. We remove the patient's diseased native heart, including both of the failed ventricles as well as all the heart valves. And then we put in the new machine and the insertion is stitching the machine in in a way very similar to a heart transplant. The operation itself went uh, very smoothly. Uh, over the last week or so, he's ventured outside of the hospital several times, which is a, a, a first. The ventricles last more than three years, giving Mr Green time to find a donor. But for now, he's enjoying the new lease of life that his battery-operated heart has given him. I'm just looking forward to getting home. Hopefully in a, in a few months' time I'll be able to go cycling. It's my main sport I used to really enjoy doing, so just living a normal life will be great.